What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are here for episode one of ESO, Elder Scrolls Online, episode one. It's time. So, I'm going to change the name of my character, so we're going to ignore that. I also don't like how my character looks. Um, because I have to, I have to make stuff be, I have to make stuff be cohesive to the overall, you know, I gotta have thumbnails and stuff like that. So I gotta, I gotta come up with a better name, but here is what we're working with right here. I don't like any of my stuff, so it'll obviously be changed. Um, I do like the dress that I picked up. Um, I do have, I believe, yeah, I have 700 for the crown store, but, uh, if you did not know, we are going to be rushing through this game. I am not caring about story, lore, anything like that. I am completely just um, trying to get through this. That's why the title of this series is called Race to Elsewhere, because that's what we're doing. We're racing to elsewhere. What is happening here? I'm so confused. Ah, oh, here we go. Wait. Is that wrong? Hold on, let me see here. What is the what does the quest say? Journal, quest. This is the one thing I don't like about this game is that it doesn't actually tell you what quest you're on right now. Or what's the main quest right now. Okay, I awakened. These items are locked in the chest. Solve a puzzle. Oh good, I just have to solve it. There's nothing else to it except, hey, solve it. Okay, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Blue. You want to match? Match. Hit this one one more time. That's not it? Really? Oh, yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay. Pop it open. Take the skull. Now I need to collect the candle that's way over here. So this is pretty much all I've been doing. We're just rushing through this game because I got to get through it before elsewhere. I can only take my time with so many games. I'll look up the lore of this game um, and the story online. I mean, I just, I don't have the time to, what did I aggro? All right, let's get him. The combat's not bad in this game. It's not good. I can't say it's like the best thing that I've ever played, but it's not bad. I mean, it's like a little bit better improved Skyrim. I mean, that's essentially what we're dealing with here. But I am the, um, the summoning class, the one that can summon animals and stuff like that, which I think is a pretty cool class. I'm happy I picked it up because I get to have this bear with me, which is awesome. Okay, you need to be red. So one more. You need to be green. One more. And you need to be blue. There we go. Alright, so this should be the candle. Now we need to go back and talk to Mavis. And this is pretty much this is pretty much this entire thing for me has been is just we run up here. And I mean I'll bring weekly episodes or ever or bi weekly episodes of this until we obviously get to where we need to go. But I also have to... I also don't know how much you guys want to see of this. You'll have to let me know because of how I'm playing it. If you guys are even interested in seeing it. Um, because I completely, completely understand if you're not interested in watching this. Because I'm just racing through it. But uh, I will probably, no matter what, make one video a week on this. Um, with the potential for two depending on how you guys like this. So I do have, is it slottable items? Mm, yeah, I have these experience scrolls, so those are helping out a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of those since we did not have any experience on, extra experience. All 
All right. Let's try to... Uh, not going to get to talk to him. I have to go kill these scamps. Use that. The flying bird is, like, my best attack. Does a decent amount of damage, along with the... Along with my feral guardian. My, uh, my bear. I always wanted a pet bear. Not that, like, you actually have a pet bear in real life. But I did always want a pet bear. Because I thought they were... I thought they were cute animals. Which sounds so stupid saying it out loud, but... I really liked bears. How do you close this? Um... I probably can interact with it if I kill these things. Ow, you... D Stop it. Stop it. Ah, let me up. Let... What the... I... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Use my healing spell. Use my healing spell. Bear, get down there. Get him. I'll fight... Oh, gotta get out of that. Oh my gosh. This is tragic. This is really tragic. Heal. Heal. Rotate around. Hey, bear, you want to hurry up and kill the scamp, please? We need to kill the scamp quicker so we can kill this clan fear. Alright, hold on. I'm going to go wrap around. I need to heal. There we go. Gank him! Gank him! Gank him! There we go. Okay. Can, hello, can I loot him, please? Hello, game! Let me loot him. Okay, so. There we go. That's that portal clear, or closed. So yeah, we just have to hit A and close them, but that consequently means we have to clear out all the enemies. Makes my little speed run here a little bit slower. Can't interact with it. Where is my bear at? Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies. Oh crap, oh crap. There we go. Loot that. Let me let me use my stupid bird. I think I have poison on my weapons. I think that's what I've got on there. We gotta hey, bear, we gotta be we can't be leaving enemies alive up here. You gotta finish them off. Can I... Sometimes the X, the flying bird's a little bit questionable. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly how I want it to. Okay. Just gotta close the western portal now. But this will be more heavily me talking about anything and everything but goal of this is to complete both somerset and elsewhere before or not elsewhere somerset and morrowind before elsewhere comes out i don't really know at least the main stories i don't mean like complete the whole things like 100 we're gonna 100 percent everything before yeah no my point is is i want to get at least through like the main stories of all these games before their expansions come out that's that's the goal and then we can always come back after once uh, elsewhere has come and gone. We can always come back to this and do some story-related side quests. Hello. All right, so we got to summon guardian at the western flame well and summon a guardian at the eastern flame well. I summon. Oh, did I summon it? I did summon it. Um, there we go. There's one. Hello. There we go. 
Well, maybe. There we go. Rage Binder. All right. I don't know what this is going to do, but... Excellent. All right. Use the altar. This is a big boy. Okay, we're teleporting. That is a big boy. That is a giant enemy. That I am not equipped to fight, so please, game, do not make me fight him. You can give a player permission to move stuff in your house. That's an actual thing. So that, yes. Ooh, nice. We got some ancient warden greaves and almost three grand experience. So, pants. Oh yeah, the Ancient Warden Greaves are a lot better. Hurry, you must go quickly. All right, we gotta go this way now. We gotta find Gina. I gotta, I gotta be better at managing my stamina on this game. I'm really terrible at managing it on this game. So I gotta work on that. Where is this at? All right. I should probably, how do you, there is a hot, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Put my clothes back on. Here we go. So, where am I? I don't, I don't actually... Wait, where am I on the map? I don't see myself. Nor do I see where I want to be going. Okay, whatever. I'll get there. I think I have some skill points. We'll take a look at that in a second here. Gotta take it slow now. Let my stamina recharge. But yeah, I really like this game, but it's probably my least favorite of the three between Black Desert, this, and Final Fantasy. And so that's why I chose to do this as the let's rush as quickly as humanly possible through this game um, so that we can... It's not as fast as humanly possible because I'm sure you can do it faster. I'm 100% sure you can do it faster than what I'm doing. Especially because I get lost. So, you know, that's never conducive to going fast. Alright, here we go. Maybe I found my way. Hopefully I found my way. Oh, hello. Do we even do damage to you? This is the question. Yeah, I don't even do damage to you yet. Nope, nope. Forget about that. I'm not getting one shot by you. I'm not stupid. And I don't know how to get to where I'm trying to go. I guess we're going to go through the mines. Well, no, it doesn't want me to go in the mines. Ch -ch -ch. Okay, pull up the map. Okay, I'm here. It's over here. So if I take... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So if I... I gotta go around this mountain. But it wants... it's telling me, like, go around the mountain this way. Okay. I got this. I can figure this out. Okay, let's let's get a little bit of stamina back. Slow walk, slow walk. It takes a really long time to recharge your stamina in this game. That's why I like have such horrible stamina management. It's because I want to sprint like immediately after, 
Like, I, I think it should be, like, I'll drain it, and then I'll tell you when I think it should be refilled, because it's not when I would think. It's, like, way longer. Was well, enough to get us to the door, and hopefully when we go through the door, it recharges my stamina, which I think it does. Not entirely sure, but I think. I hope. <laughs> I think I hope, same thing. But I'm looking forward to... This will not be at all how I play when Elsewhere comes out. So if you just want to see me do, like, main story and actually pay attention and read and do all of that different stuff, check back when Elsewhere comes out. I will have a more serious playthrough of that when Elsewhere releases. And we'll be doing side stuff and all of that different stuff. But, like, right now I just, I just don't have the time. Because obviously I'm really early in the game. I'm only, like, level 13. I even level 13, like, well, yeah, I'm level 12. I'm level 12, I'm clearly, like, I gotta move. If I'm not making moves, and I'm not pushing through this game, there is no way I am getting this done before Elsewhere drops. It just isn't gonna happen. And so, unfortunately, it leaves us in this state where I, I'm speedrunning, but I want to make videos on it. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do rushed videos of me running. Okay, um, I don't think it's over this way. That just looks like a dead end. Yeah, we gotta go up. We gotta go up and around. We gotta go up and way around. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you about the when I think the stamina should recharge because we're about to blow through all of it. Okay, so I blew through all of my stamina. All right, and so now we're waiting for the stamina to come back. And in about four seconds is when I would expect it to be full. Like, right about now is when I would expect that thing to be full, and it's only half. Okay, and I just dropped down when I shouldn't have dropped down. All right, well, there's a good thing there's a stairs here. Well... I am... Oh, here we go. I got it. Maybe. No, I didn't because it's still... It's up there. Game. Game, please. Oh, I missed my jump. Well, great. I totally screwed that up. See, this is the one issue that I have with this game is that I mess up stuff like that. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, gotta gotta reset all the way back. Well, hold on. Actually, did I... Oh, look, I actually got here. I don't know how I got here, but I, but I did it. Gina, Gina O'Marys. All right, so we need to kill Rabid Nick's Hound. Is this it? Yep. Yeah, we do not do a lot of damage to this thing. Bear, do something. Help me. This thing is actually pretty strong. Should just hit. I need to hit it with... I gotta heal... There we go. Bear's helping me out a little bit more now. And we got it. Nice. Okay, we need to talk to Bishalis. So we don't... Oh, Bishalis is here. I was gonna say, don't we need to talk to, like, Gina? Complete the Bard of Hounds. So now we need to find the Harborage. I'm just assuming when I complete a quest, it reselects the next main quest, that it's not like, oh, hey, willy-nilly, here's the next quest that we think you should do. That's my hope. I don't know if that's actually true. If someone knows that, let me know, because right now, I'm just essentially getting the next quest, hoping it's a main quest and running, because I don't know a way to tell what's a main quest and what's not. If anybody knows how to tell, let me know. 
because I'm trying to just progress so that I can level up and then head the Morrowind and whatnot, but uh, I'd like to, you know, try to do main story stuff. But it's kind of hard to tell what's main story, and it blows my mind that they haven't added a way to tell what's main story and what's side. Unless they just want you to organically play through the game, and if you're doing a main quest, you're doing a main quest. Woo! If you're doing a side quest, you're doing a side quest. Also, woo. Need to go up. All right, because I'll show you in the menuing here if you've never, if you've never played ESO. Where is it? Journal. Quest, if you could see, I don't know how on earth you're supposed to know what is a main quest and what is a side quest because they all look the exact same. You could tell what a dungeon is, like this is a dungeon quest, but... Other than that, I don't quite know how you tell anything in this game. Cool thing is, is there's these solo dungeons, which are, which is nice for people who play solo or friends aren't on all the time to play. The loading screens in this game are weird because they leave like that, that bar. It's kind of just an overlay to the actual loading screen. It's a weird design to me. Oh, you know what? I haven't been using my mount. I have a pretty cool mount, too. I mean, look at it. It's a pretty cool mount. I bought Somerset, and I bought the... the. I bought Morrowind, and I bought Somerset, the collector's edition of Somerset, because I wanted the figure out of... Or, yeah, I wanted the, the statue out of it um, for real-life purposes. Because I collect some video game statues from time to time. I need this merchant. Hold on. Hey, buddy. I, I need you. Look at that sky. Need to sell some stuff to you. Like these bows. Because I am almost full on weight. So I definitely need to sell the staff. Not using this or this or this. I want to keep the where's the one that gives me bonus xp there we go so i want to get rid of that keep the profit Eh, we'll sell it whatever i don't need it but i gotta clear out inventory here because we are full or we're getting full all right so we're at 58 out of 71 these are just good for selling so let me sell those Sell that, sell that. I know some of these are worth zero, but they weigh. And so I gotta get I gotta get them out of here. Alright, that gives us a, a little bit of weight capacity. But I think that's good enough for now. Let's get back on our horse and head to the dungeon. I like kind of want to do the dungeon in this episode and then it's kind of like, oh, do I want to do the dungeon in this episode or not? Because I'm going to assume the dungeon is probably decently long. We're already kind of long. We're, we're, get, we're getting to the point where I call most of my episodes of stuff. Alright, there we go. Horse's stamina is full. We'll check it out, at least. We'll check it out. I might be able to speedrun through it. I don't know how the dungeons in this game work. Some dungeons and games are, like, super, you know, you gotta super clear heavy, and some are just super completion heavy. Alright, off the horse. I'm gonna heal myself. There we go. Let my magic recharge for a second. And here we go. The Harborage. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, on the edges of the screen, like, right down. Right down, like, over. Wow, my hand's too high. Oh, my gosh. Like, down over here. Like, right there. Right there. Right there. There's, like, the gaps around the loading screen. And it's, like, the actual game loading. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, they overlaid a loading screen on a loading screen. 
See? It's like they overlaid the loading on a loading. Because the, the game in the back loads faster. Alright, so we're just supposed to talk to Prophet, so I might just be able to run through this like a madman. Hello, Prophet. Wait for Prophet. With me through the shadows of past events. Wood oh, increased my woodworking somehow. Oh, this is he taking me to the actual dungeon? Follow Prophet. All right, let's go, me, my dude. And learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Prophet, you got to pick up the face, my dude. I'm, I'm trying. We're, we're in the midst of going fast. Like, oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's not, uh, not how I expected that one to go right there. All right, Prophet, you're killing me. Ooh, what is that? Come on, Prophet. You gotta move it. Found inside dimmed my vision and eventually huh. left me permanently blinded. Here we go. This is probably where he's going. Oh, gotta go talk to him. Alright, buddy. Baron. Okay, so we need to learn about the five companions. Is he still our main objective? The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farm, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor of the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahak, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manam Marco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. Talk to Prophet. The fan. There we go. Witness the five companions in action. Oh, here we go. There it is. The dragon of high abrasia. Manimarco. Are you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. It better work, Manimarco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a desk. I will adjust audio in the future. Um, I'm not sure how the audio in this game works when recording, so it is what it is right now, and I'll adjust it for future recordings. That's how I do everything. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. You are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This, this isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Val is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Interesting. So he betrayed them. Obviously. 
Now we gotta follow the prophet down here. Long ago was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Moloch Baal the opportunity he desired. Moloch Baal's dark anchors pierced the torn veil and seek to draw Nern into the depths of cold harbor. These terrible engines of destruction have been appearing all throughout Tamriel. Um, Prophet, what is on earth is going on over there? I'm not liking what I see, buddy. What is this? Well, we're not going there just quite yet. All right, bud. If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plane realm. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so all right. Let's head. Okay, so we just head back now. Okay. Well, that was an interesting dungeon. Not at all. All what I thought we were going to get there, but uh, happy I did it for you guys. Essentially, now I'll just talk to Prophet, skip the dialogue real quick. We'll gain a skill point. Not bad. Not bad, and we hit level 13. So that's a good place to end the episode. We picked up level 13. We got some nice rewards. Future rewards. Ooh, we got an achievement. Complete main quest chapter 1. Point hey, I've been doing it right. We were going through the main quest. I need to pick up my stamina. Definitely need the stam the stamina. Um, I'm gonna purchase this. When one of your animals is killed or unsummoned, you're restored twelve. Okay, that's good. I have two points, but it's like e there's nothing that I really want, and so it's kind of like, and the advisor. So you gain major mending. Like, it's just a... It's just like, yeah, I'd rather hold on to my points for right now. But uh, that's going to do it for episode one of Race to Elsewhere, which is the Elder Scrolls Online series that we are partaking in right now. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts, criticisms, or anything like that pertaining anything in here um i gotta think of a name for this character which is what i am going to do you will know what the character is by the picture accompanying the thumbnails so yeah you'll know what i came up with so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys later peace